Welcome back, everyone. So today, I wanted to do a quick little update on the James Hutchinson case out of Middletown, Ohio. In case you're not aware of the James Hutchinson case, let me give you a little bit of background information on who James Hutchinson was. James Hutchinson was a six-year-old little boy who loved life, uh, loved his DC comics and comic heroes, and but was a bubbly, loving, you know, fun, fun little boy to be around, according to all of his classmates and his siblings. James Hutchinson was doing nothing wrong. Well, then his mother and her fiance, uh, James Hamilton, decided that they didn't want James Hutchinson anymore or his two siblings. And Brittany Gosney, his mother, decided to dispose of the three children in a wildlife refuge where she was hoping either the weather, incremental weather that was just barely above freezing that morning, would either take them, somebody else would find them and take them home, or that wolves would get them. Whatever she may have been you know, for thinking in particular, we're not exactly sure. But regardless, she put all three children outside of the car in their nightgowns and you know at that morning early and tried to abandon them, but at the last minute decided she didn't want to do that anymore. She put the nine-year-old and the seven-year-old back in the car and then started to drive away and was going to abandon just James there. James then grabbed onto the door handle of her minivan and was dragged for a period of time and before she eventually would run him over and cause his death. So now we're, you're caught up on what actually happened in the James Hutchinson case. The news today is that Brittany Gosney, after being sent off to the state mental hospital in, for the state of Ohio, uh, she has been found sane to aid in her own defense. So the trial it will go forward and she will stand before a jury of her peers to answer to the charges and yes, it does include murder charges in the first degree. She will have to stand trial and answer for what she did to not only James but to James's siblings because additionally, the days leading up to the actual murder of James Hutchinson, she bound all three of the children with rope and gagged them with cloth in their mouths and made them sit on an anoleum floor for an extended period of time while her and her fiance did whatever they wanted to do, which was most likely partake in drugs and alcohol. Because, you know, on examination of the home, they found plenty of paraphernalia and empty, you know, beer bottles and cans in the house and in the, around the outside of the property itself. And it was well known within the community that both of them were heavy drinkers and drug users. So, but Brittany Gosney has been found sane to stand trial and aid in her own defense. Was she insane at the time when she actually committed the act? That is something that will be determined during the course of the actual trial itself. She has also, today in court, signed away her waiver to um, a speedy trial. So they do not have to, they will not violate her, her constitutional rights if they do not have the trial within a certain period of time. She waived that constitutional right today in court. So that is where we are on the James Hutchinson case. God bless James Hutchinson, and may he be looking after him you know, every day from here on out. And God is looking over his two siblings to this day, and will from here on out. But finally, James' siblings are no longer near their mother, and they are being cared for by a grandparent, of a you know, biological grandparent. So we do have that to look forward to, and, and know that they are safe today. But thank you for joining me today. You stay safe out there. Thank you.